Okay, so to fill up the little sewing kits, I've got some things. I made little um, swatches of fabric and um, sewed them together with, with just a little button. So I'll put one of these in each jar. And then I have a handheld sewing machine that doesn't work very well, but it came with like, I think 30 of these little bobbins with threads on it, and then 30 rolls of thread. So I was gonna put one of those in them, in, in the sewing kit ones. And then Scrubby bought me some buttons at a um, garage sale, and they had a bunch of these cut up, little, it's like one big card and then they cut them up, which I'm bummed that they did, but uh, it forced me to use them. And then this is just some um, ribbon that looks like a little measuring tape, so I'm going to use that. And then these are just some buttons to kind of fill the bottom part with. And I'm, oops, what was that? My tape. And I'm not going to put needles with it, only because if people are looking at it at the craft fair, you know, somebody's going to get stuck. Or potentially could. And then I'm going to add a couple of these little flowers. And I bought these pens at Walmart for $2.77. So I'll put those in the top. So, next I want to put in my little card. Actually, first I'll put in my... I think I'm going to use this one with the little kitty and I kind of put them in the back so there's something to see all around and then the thread I just had it in there to kind of flatten it so I'll put that here and then the bobbin and here are, is the top for this one. That's the dotted Swiss with the pearl shank button. And then this is some recollections. They look like little cotton tufts with um, string in between. But I just gathered it up and then put it on. And there you have it. Super cute little kit. And then I'll put some on top. I can use kind of that green blue color. And a white one or two. Maybe another green. That doesn't have a sharp. I forgot the flowers. The best part. I think I'm going to put one of a red one too. Maybe green. There. There. Now it's finished. So that's the little um, sewing kit one. And then the, the little baby ones have some different things in them. They have um, some more colorful buttons. Like I used some of these and then some of the Dollar Tree buttons for the baby one. And then I used some of these. Each one got two of these. And then each one got one of these to kind of match their colors. I will. Okay, so here's one of the baby ones. And this fabric is Fairy Tales. And that happens to be a cat who's a tailor. He's the tailor of Gloucester. And I use pom-pom trim, and then there's the little 
rocking horses, and just all the little goodies. So these can be, um, like Bill and I debated back and forth about these straight pins for a baby. And I said, well, the baby's not going to be able to get at them. And he goes, well, the baby will start crawling around. I go, well, it'll probably be up on a dresser. Well, eventually they're going to, he says, you know those pods? Every baby's getting at the pods. So he said, well, see what your viewers think. So I don't know. I think it's fine. I think moms will know that they shouldn't leave them in there after a while, hopefully. So this is um, Miss Goose. Or what is it? Puddly Duck. The Puddly Duck. This one's kind of greens and yellows and blues, like all the colors. And this was the 12 fabric, and I put a little heart on there. And this is all, the trims are all vintage, except for the recollections, and the pom-poms are, I think, from Saw Crafters. I think that's where I got that from. Isn't that cute? So they could be really cute for a baby shower, um, like take away or take home. I love this fabric with the kitties. That one seems fuller than the others, but I'll just fill the rest up. Um, you know, for like a party favor. And this is cute. This and again, this all this material I got, this fabric, I got it at our thrift store, and I think it was a dollar. 79 and then it was half that because it was 50% off day So they this one these got fabric swatches um, These blue ones did because I made them specifically for them But otherwise the baby ones didn't get them Here's another little dolls and kitties and balloons That's really I love the purple and for the lavender and yellow. And then the last baby one is another one of these. I don't want to turn it too much. Of course, I'm sure they're going to get bounced around in the car as we go to the craft sale. And then all the, um, and then these are all the um, sewing kits. I love the poofiness and the trim. And it's just kind of fun to see all the goodies in there. I totally lucked out on this fabric though. Something uh, cute. That's a neat little repair there. The hot glue gun up here doesn't work that great. Once it gets cold or whatever. And I like this one too. These are the cutest things. And I got another idea for these jars. So I might work on that next. I may or may not. Depending on how much time I have. Because I just went to Michael's and got a bunch of uh, sale stuff. And this is my favorite. Because of the colors. I should have done more um, with this fabric because it's my next sales in November. Nice fall color. So I hope you will give this a try. It's really, I just love them. I think they turned out really cute and they're fun to make. Super easy. Even with my little arthritic hand, I was able to make the little poofy pin cushions. But, um, Give it a try, and thanks for watching. Bye.